Mercury Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So this morning, two hours ago, um, we had celebrated the 20th graduating class of uh, the Five Keys Charter School. And what a wonderful and uh, fitting uh, way to start 2014. Uh, the graduates, who couldn't be more proud of, uh, approximately 50 who are still incarcerated, in custody, um, <clears throat> gave uh, a new meeting uh, to Orange is the New Black. And wearing their black robes over their orange, uh, beyond the pop significance of the television show, uh, I would like to share this with you. And I will never retreat or shy away uh, from a point that Steve mentioned that I think uh, is important for all of you to know, and we'll continue to beat this drum so that the rest of California, the United States, gets it. This department, the San Francisco Sheriff's Department, uh, is the first uh, in the United States to embed a charter high school in its county jail system. The first in the United States to do so. And my predecessor, Mike Hennessy, who'd been sheriff for over three decades, was a great admirer of, and his administration uh, innovated what many in law enforcement and in uh, the nonprofit world uh, would really scoff at the idea that this is something that um, the sheriff's department wanted to do. Even up until recently, many would see uh, the um, just kind of San Francisco, uh, hippie, bohemian kind of way uh, that a charter high school uh, would mean. But time has told, and the test uh, has revealed, that we in San Francisco, in concert with everybody who's congregated here to make this important day happen, uh, see the light where now uh, red and blue states as well as red and blue counties in the state of California realize that if we really want to reform what has been a overbuilding of prisons and jails in a very incarcerated heavy country, that we cannot dismiss the value of education in the criminal justice system. And this is crucial. It's extremely crucial, which is why I couldn't be more proud of the Five Keys Charter School for now uh, expanding where it's not just San Francisco, it's now in the largest jail system, not only in the country, but on the planet. It's now exported to Los Angeles. San Francisco Five Keys Charter School in Los Angeles. Now, to me, that's not, that's not a fluke. Uh, that's not something that is kind of fringe. What I'm hoping is that that is a compass point of where we're going in California and how we are uh, at this place, this precipice of change, uh, is really as, re as a result of everybody here, not just by the true grit and smart tenacity of the men and women that are on this stage, whether incarcerated or not, that's not what this is about, um, but it's because of the collective uh, effort uh, that is pulled together, and because of that, I want to underscore uh, some recognitions. First, I would like to recognize uh, my sworn and command staff and program staff of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. Please stand up, if you would. <laughs> to the Five Peace Charter School, uh, where often I think you're unsung, and, but these graduations uh, really help reveal the light of what you do in the corridors of our jail system, because it is our custody staff and program staff that help really set the regiment uh, and the navigation. But the Five Keys Charter School staff, an amazing staff, please stand and be recognized. Now, I know Steve Good um, uh, listed the community partners 
But the significance of the community partners, because it's now growing every year in terms of the participation in stakeholders, what this tells us is that this is a recipe that's working uh, in a uh, post-custody and in a community kind of way, and it's gaining traction fast. And why that's important to me, as I know it will be to you, is because here's a little known statistic you may uh, just be learning for the first time. Because of our charter high school, we literally have the most educated inmate population in California and one of the most educated in the United States. But check this out. If we allow higher institutions like City College to implode, where students who have done everything they possibly can with your goodwill and support to get to the place that there are right now, then in a city like ours, as forward thinking and as enlightened San Francisco is, but cost prohibitive because we're one of the most expensive cities in the United States, then what is our graduates to do? So this is why the community role in SLICE serves two purposes. You're facilitating what is a smart future for people here by giving them the tools and helping them move themselves up, but then you're also embedded back in the community to be that voice because for all of us, we're deeply concerned about what is the future for our constituency and population here. And this is not a population that can't be forgotten nor allowed to be dismissed by City Hall or anybody else because we are celebrating the economic success of San Francisco, which is why it makes this job that much more challenging for us. So to the community partners where you have graduates and soon to have aspiring graduates, stand up and be recognized. Stand up. Now, and then, of course, uh, not to forget the uh, members uh, of family, loved ones uh, that are here, too. The stress that goes into completing uh, a quest, uh, like getting your high school diploma, GED certificate completion, uh, is not one without its challenges, and those challenges often are felt within the home, uh, from afar or directly and the uh, support and the frustrations and tribulations that people go through uh, is something that today is one to celebrate, but not to forget uh, really uh, that uh, collective energy that helped get everybody here today. So to uh, the loved ones, friends and family of the graduates here, please stand up and be recognized. Now, it's fitting that this morning, because we graduated approximately 50 who are in custody uh, through the Five Keys Charter School, and here we are as a perfect bookend uh, that now it's of a community graduation that really helps, I think, set tone from where we go from here. And uh, I'm inspired, and I shared this quote this morning since we just recently celebrated the life of Nelson Mandela, who reflected on his imprisonment and incarceration. And it's not about judging why one's incarcerated or not, but it's about the experience of what becomes of one in the process of incarceration so that it is not so unbelievably deflating that hopefully people are able to muster the wherewithal and resourcefulness to emerge. And to quote Nelson Mandela, he said, well, in my country, First you go to prison, then you become president. And I believe that that uh, speaks to, uh, I think, any uh, hurdle uh, that may be before us, how large or insurmountable they may seem, but here today, I think those hurdles seem just a little more diminished. And it's because of how we got here uh, where we really celebrate this milestone of graduates. But it doesn't end here. So I said earlier, we have challenges in this city. I see leaders up here. I see future up here, even if you're near 60 years old. 
because we also have an aging population in San Francisco, and we want to retain a youthful population in San Francisco as well, too. And so these now, uh, our graduates become those emissaries that go back to community in the city and in Bay Area and tell the story of what is happening here, where we continue to press forward with all positive favor and saying, this is now the new face of criminal justice. This is now the new face of positive reentry, of restorative justice, of righting your wrongs, and being able to move forward, not in an individual way only, but in a communal way that continues to fortify the kind of community we all hope uh, and aspire for. Thank you so much. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you.